to a very select choir and we were both singers. Um, and uh, in my head, I heard a large slamming of the door and some grand person walk in. And the first thing I noticed was his fashion, his accessories, his energy. Until now, I still remember the coat he wore, the jewelry he wore, the way he had his hair. And I can remember that I knew that that person was going to be in my life. I celebrate pride by being loud and understanding that we want to normalize loving yourself. Knowing that you're enough for the way you are, how you were born, and normalizing self-love and to be free. When you live loudly and you, you allow yourself to be free for who you are, you start showing people that we deserve equal rights, we deserve to be equal in this society, and we have a place here and we are going nowhere. The message is be proud of how you were born, be proud of where you were born. And the biggest message is we have to accept love in no matter what shape it comes in, what texture, what color, and what sexuality, what gender. Love is beautiful and love has to be celebrated. My favorite date spot, hands down, is the Metropolitan Opera House. I am an opera singer. I cannot find anything more intellectual, more classy, more beautiful, mingling with people who love the arts, support the arts, and just enjoy that beautiful production. Just a spectacular production of bringing people, creative people together to share in the love of music and theater. Our little puppy, Richard. I love, I can, I can turn into baby voice when I start thinking of Richard. Oh, my puppy is the best gift I've ever received. The loyalty and the love that an animal gives to you is just, is the, most, is the biggest gift that any man could ever receive or woman.